So, you think you can draw a box? Prove it. Start by using a ruler to draw four rectangles. Then, turn them into boxes that look 3D. Did you draw a dot? And connect that dot to the corners of your rectangles? If so, you were using a technique called linear perspective to make your artwork look 3D. So what is linear perspective? Well, it's a mathematical system that allows you to create the illusion of space and distance on a flat surface like a piece of paper or a canvas. It was discovered in Italy by Brunelleschi in the early 1400s. The way that it works is because objects that we're close to look big and objects that are far away look small, if you were to line things up and connect ends and edges, they would meet at one point and they would form converging lines. Converge means come together. If you think about the example of railroad tracks, we know that the metal rails are parallel, which means that they never actually meet. But if you look at them going off into the distance, it looks like they meet at a point way off up ahead. And so here in this example, the railroad tracks would be the converging lines. And the place where they meet is called the vanishing point because it looks like everything vanishes or disappears beyond that point. And the vanishing point always falls on the line where the land meets the sky, which is called the horizon line. So if you think about a super simple example, maybe you would just have two converging lines meeting at your vanishing point off on the horizon, and that would sort of suggest a road. Here's an example of a painting made shortly after linear perspective had been discovered. Can you find the horizon line? And the converging lines? And the vanishing point? How about this painting? Have you ever seen it before? This is The Last Supper, painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Can you spot where he put the horizon line and some converging lines and the vanishing point? So you can see that da Vinci used these techniques of linear perspective not only to make his painting look 3D, but also to draw our eye to the main figure. This painting by Raphael is another great example of how artists can use the techniques of linear perspective to create the illusion of depth in a painting. <laughs>